in this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple um, rotating block um, which we'll be using for other uh, sessions later on. Um, so what we'll do first of all we'll start by creating um, a new uh, empty actor so I'm just going to right click in the content area choose actor as the class Call it rotating block, and I'll put it just inside the blueprints folder as well, just to keep things organised. Inside this, then I'm going to add a um, cube component, like so, and I'm just going to change the uh, dimensions of it just to make it slightly flatter like that and I'm going to add three variables to the blueprint as well here so the first one is going to be called is on that basically means whether it's going to be activated or not We'll add another one called rotation speed, which will be a float. And we'll just compile that and give it a default value of 80. And we're also going to turn this little eye icon on here, which means that um, once it's dragged into the level we'll be able to actually um, access the rotation speed property and we'll do the same with the is on uh, property as well and we're going to add one final variable which will be another float and this one is called delta seconds which will help us spin our um, cube at a consistent rate regardless of what the frame rate of the uh, the engine actually is at that given time so it should mean it rotates the same speed whether it's running at 30 frames a second or 60 or even higher it should be a consistent speed we won't turn on the eye, the eye icon for this one um, so we'll keep it as a private variable so that um, we're only going to be able to access that from within the blueprint we don't want it, anything else to be able to set that from outside this blueprint Okay, so the first thing um, we're going to set up here on the event tick is we're going to set our delta seconds to be whatever value delta seconds is coming out of our event tick. We're then going to branch. And the condition of our branch will be determined by whether or not our um, is on variable has been set. Now by default it's turned off, there's no tick in that box and we'll leave it that way for now. The next thing we're going to do if, if we're switched on here is we're going to add some local rotation to our cube and you can see there because we've got context turned on it knows what um, components we've got available and cube is the one that we want and you can see it's already created the link to cube alternatively you could manually create the link yourself if you wanted to it does the same thing and then we're going to calculate our rotation amount that we need to to add. So we're going to take our rotation speed, we're going to take our delta seconds, we're going to multiply the rotation speed by delta seconds, and then we're going to make our rotator. And actually, that's going to be calculating the uh, 
the Z axis. So once we've made our rotator, we're just going to connect that up to our add local rotation and we're going to compile just to make sure it all runs OK and we'll just check that this is going to work. So I'm going to place one into the level here and you can see we're just using the standard third person template. Um, you'll see now we've dragged this on, we've got a couple of options. These are our options that we turn the little eye icon on, the, the make public icon. So by default it's not on, so we want to turn it on so it will actually work and we'll leave our rotation speed at 80. And as you can see there, our block is rotating on the z-axis. That's possible obviously to rotate it on different axes as well, so um, maybe the y may look better, there we are, so we have a rotating panel. And this is actually borrowed from one of the um, Unreal examples in one of their content packs is a, a set of gears that rotate the three of them in a row. Um, so I've just used the same technique that they've used in that to create this rotating block. So now that's been created, um, I'll stop the video there and we'll carry on looking at um, different ways of communicating with our um, rotating block blueprint so that it can uh, respond to different events um, within our level.